and oh thank you guys I just got a haircut today um, I think my husband said I looked like a French assassin I'll take it as a compliment whatever that may mean anyway guys thank you for joining we are talking today about face oils I am doing two lives simultaneously one which is a regular feature every Tuesday at this time four o'clock Pacific Standard on my website which is a new live stream event we're doing every Tuesday at four and because I'm such a hardcore lover of Instagram and Facebook that I'm also have another camera and I'm doing it also um, there for you so let's go ahead and get talking about face oils um, we do have some special values today so you want to keep watching because there's going to be something you're going to want to hear soon um, so please let us know my moderators talking to me please let us uh, know what city you're in we love to know what, what city you're in and where you're from and I am going to do my best to answer your skincare questions during this live. There's a reason we call it Ask Angela. The fun part for me actually is to uh, answer your questions live. All right, so let's talk about face oils. Now, it's getting a little colder out. Fall is here. Oh, thank you. Norelle just joined. She's in Australia. Hi there. Eric, I see estheticians joining. I love it. Evie's mom is here. Hi there. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to call out some people here. Who's joining? Thank you all for joining. Keep watching because I will have a special value. We've got someone from Stat, Staten Island, New York. I love it. Uh, thank you, Norel. All right, guys. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and talk about, we are pinning the Neroli face oil. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. But right now, we're going to talk about just face oils in general. And this time of year, you know, it's starting to feel a little cold. We've got Yes, someone, another person from Australia. Thank you for joining. I love going on at this time because I, I can hit uh, basically other uh, countries that I'm sold in, so I love that. So I am sold at Mecca in Australia. All right, so let's talk about face oils. Now, I know in Australia it's not the same weather right now. You are rolling into summer, but I don't care. As long as you're wearing a sunscreen, uh, you can still wear your face oil at night and um, get that nourishment you need. But let's talk about where we are now in terms of the, the climate change and it getting a little colder, fall coming. This is my new fall. I love maroon and burgundies for fall. Um, so um, basically, you want your skin to be glowing during the winter. You don't want it to be dry and brittle and sensitized and red because when your skin is dry and lackluster, guess what? More fine lines are more pronounced and you don't look as healthy and you just feel old, let's just face it, when you are just like you smile and everything just cracks and you need to feel glowy and dewy, especially this time of year. The best way to do that is with a face oil. Now the face oil is always the last thing that you apply. It's gonna seal everything in, so your serums, your moisturizers, everything. And then on top of that, obviously you would apply your sunscreen. But, oh, Kathy just joined, hi Kathy. I love that we have so many amazing estheticians joining me today. This is so fun. We're talking about face oils. We're talking about how important they are this time of year and how they would be the last thing that you apply to your skin. You always want the thinnest to thickest and usually the face oil will be the thickest. We'll talk about different types of face oils, which ones have a larger molecular structure so they may feel heavy, which ones have a lighter molecular structure which may just go right into your skin and really give you that instant glow. And we'll talk about that as well. So first, I want to just start off by saying, I don't know if it's just the American culture with skincare, but a lot of people still think that uh, face oils cause congestion in the skin. They do not cause congestion unless it's a certain type of face oil, which can cause congestion. But there's only about three. And there's a whole lot of other amazing oils, which we're going to talk about, that do more for your skin than say your moisturizer can during the winter. So we'll also talk about cleansing with the face oil and why that is so lovely. And I know it seems counterintuitive, but it's one of the best things you can do for your skin. Oil works with oil. It's able to go deep into your pores to remove the sunscreen, remove the makeup, and also cleanse as well as deliver the essential fatty acids and nutrients that your skin needs to feel more balanced and youthful, especially during the winter months. All right, so let's talk about how you want to use a face oil and why. Now, face oils are not particularly known for hydration because they're not attracting water to your skin. Instead, they're a barrier 
and they're helping to not let it escape from your skin. So if you have a hyaluronic acid serum, you wanna apply a face oil after to make that more effective. Otherwise, what's the point? So face oils are very, very important in your regimen for hydration, but they, they are not hydrating, but they will seal everything in that does attract water, like glycerin or hyaluronic acid. I love glycerin, by the way. It, it's like the redheaded stepchild that doesn't get talked about enough, which is just like a fabulous child. So the glycerin uh, also is really attracts water, is extremely hydrating for the skin. So glycerin, hyaluronic acid, there's also new forms of hyaluronic acid that are also discovered recently, which I'll go more into that later, that also help to attract water in a very, very positive way in your skin. But you cannot keep it attracting water unless you have an oil to seal to keep it occlusive to where it will stay hydrated. Otherwise, it's gonna evaporate right out of your skin. Yes, yeah, stay tuned for a special offer and be feel free to ask me skincare questions. All right, thank you for letting me all know where you're from as well. All right, so also I wanna let you know that every skin type can benefit from a face oil. Every skin type, truly, every skin type. Unless you're just really erupting with acne, then eh, maybe not. But I wanna let you know that um, it's important that you know the type of oil that you're using and the molecular structure, and there's different benefits to oils. Like for example, in my cleansing oil, I have marula, which helps to calm inflammation. It's a very lightweight oil. So it's good to learn about oils and how they can help and protect your skin. All right, so let's go ahead and answer some questions. Feel free to ask me any skincare questions. Now, if you are acneic, here are some of the oils you shouldn't be using on your skin, meaning acneic, like you just have a lot of acne on your, on your skin, maybe in your mid-20s or in your 30s and really breaking out. Then you wanna stay away from coconut oil, you wanna stay away from mineral oil, and you wanna kind of push aside anything with argan oil at the time. So those are a little more, um, can really actually not help, uh, but the other oils are fabulous, and they will work with your skin, not against. All right, so Nar Narel just asked what uh, sunscreen I recommend. I love Ilia, and I know they sell it at Mecca. Ilia is fabulous for the face, I love it. Also, Suntegrity is very good. I love uh, mineral-based sunscreens that, um, I like the ones with a tint because there's such a light tint and it's nice to kind of even out the skin. Most of the ones that I like actually have oils in them. Ilia is, is a beautiful, beautiful sunscreen and it does have a little oil in it so it spreads beautifully and keeps you looking youthful. Oils help to plump up the fine lines and wrinkles, truly. All right, so I want you to write down, go ahead and type in if you are using an oil right now and tell me about your experience with the oil you're using. I also wanna know, oh, looks like we have the code, are you ready? We couldn't wait. I want you to use the code CARE20, wow, 25%, did I read that right? All right, 25% off today, that's unusual. CARE25, that's amazing. C-A-R-E, all caps, 25, go shopping. Angela Call You Skin Care, you're gonna get 25% off. And free shipping in the US. What do you do for dead skin? Do you use a face exfoliator? Great question. Actually, see this Janeo machine right here? Uh, I do this uh, when I need to exfoliate, but I've also created a product that I'm launching this uh, January, which does have some sort of element to that. I'm not gonna give it away, but. Just stay tuned for that. I also like Sunday Riley uh, Good Jeans, Lactic Acid, it's a good one too. And if you're gonna use a physical exfoliant, please don't use anything with the nuts because they can't, like apricot or walnut scrub, any of those, they can't cut them perfectly spherical and they're a little jagged and you can get little micro tears when you scrub. So use like something like jojoba wax beads or something. Those are perfectly spherical and they're safer for your, your skin in terms of causing any micro tears if you have any capillary fragility. All right, thank you, Lillian's joining. Thank you guys, lots of people joining. So just remember, uh, we're gonna talk about this right now and any shopping of the Angela Collier skincare during this live, you can click and look, you'll get 25% off, which is unusual. We, we usually don't do 25, but I think we're just in the mood. Like let's just do 25% off today, why not? So. Type in CARE, all caps, 25, and you'll get 25% off my gorgeous skincare collection made with organic oils, and we're gonna talk about this too. 
Ooh, the Daily Botanical Serum, which is a lightweight face oil, 25% off, and free shipping. And you can just click on it while I'm talking, or uh, you can just, I'll give you an hour until after the show too, just to make sure you can uh, get that in. I know it says during the live, but I'm gonna give you an hour after too. But it's fun, this live you can click and shop while <clears throat> I'm talking as well. If you have ADD like me, you wanna shop, you wanna listen, you wanna do whatever you're doing at home. All right, so Karen just joined, thank you. Lisa's here, thank you guys for joining. We're talking about face oils, and right now we're gonna talk about the Neroli cleansing oil. Now, when I went to formulate this, remember I studied, I've been an esthetician for 28 years. I studied with the French like leading botanical medical estheticians when I was like 23 years old, I'm 51. So the French have known forever how important, how important oils are for the skin. Uh, someone just asked, does it count for Australia? The discount counts, but I know there's some fees, so look into the fees. Everything's transparent on the website, so it might work out for you. Um, but yeah, you can definitely use the code. Just go ahead and check out any fees or taxes or import taxes. But um, I think they've gone down for Australia. Anyway, so we're gonna talk about the Neroli cleansing oil. It's pinned here. I tried all the other cleansing oils before I launched this, kind of market research, and I'm telling you, most of them I didn't like, and I know how valuable oils are for the skin. I've been studying for years and studying over 30,000 faces. I know how well, oh good, someone just added this to their wish list. You can add this to your wish list, or you can purchase right now and get 25% off. Just, just know that, you can type in CARE25. All right, so oils. I mean, I remember when I was traveling to uh, Europe when I was in my 20s, and there was this beautiful woman. I was stating it, stating it like it was a castle, but it was really just a hotel, but everything's a castle out there. And she came out, we arrived late at night, and I noticed her face was just glistening in the moonlight, just glistening. And I'd never seen my mom look like that, or I didn't do that. And it turns out she had this oil on her skin, and that's how she went to bed, like a glazed donut. She knew the benefit of oils on your skin and how to go to bed with them. So even just, you know, applying them at night and just letting them just, you know, do their magic while you're sleeping. And remember when you're sleeping, you may have either the AC on, depending on where you're at, or the heater, that is gonna suck water from your skin, but the oil is going to protect your skin. All right, another person just added the uh, Neroli cleansing oil to their wish list. Thank you, you're going to love it. So in terms of the cleanse, let's talk about the cleanse. The cleanse is so important. The oils that I tried when I was sampling all of the oils out there, they either had too many essential oils, meaning like it was just this potpourri of like, oh, yeah, it was it smelled great at first, but then like the second day, I'm like, ugh, it's like a bunch of perfume in my face. And that couldn't be good for your skin. And it's not. Too many essential oils can be disruptive to your barrier too. So I wanted to add Neroli cleansing, in the Neroli cleansing oil, I have a beautiful essential oil of Neroli. And it's so lightweight, it calms inflammation, so it's there for a therapeutic purpose. And now that I'm talking about it, I have to smell it. Ah, oh, it is so spa-like and so lovely, the aroma. Not all essential oils are the same. Many companies buy from a contract manufacturer their essential oils for their formulas. Some of those contract manufacturers will buffer them and sell them for what you would think it would be. Neroli is quite expensive. And they will add like some other lame orange blossom that isn't as fragrant as a Neroli and sell it to a lab and say, this is Neroli. Well, we go direct with my lab and we know who the farmers are. Everything is sustainably sourced and it's the highest grade. And you'll know, you'll know the minute you use it. You'll just be like, um, this is transporting the way it smells. Now look how lightweight it is. Now, when I tried all those other oils, yes, they had too many essential oils and they also were quite heavy. Let me just show you, look at this. Look how lightweight this is. So this is like spun silk. And when you apply it to your skin, you massage it in. You can even remove all of the eye makeup. It doesn't even sensitize my eyes and I have very sensitive eyes. So I will just do one swoop, massaging it in. And then I will grab some water with my fingertips and start massaging my face. So it's like, oh, thank you. Kim says she likes my hair. Yeah, I got a haircut today. Thank you, Skevo, Chris McMillan Salon, you're the best. Skevo, I said Skevo, it's Skevo. He's from uh, Greece, he's amazing. All right, so now I'm massaging this in 
and you can see it gets milky. So when you massage the cleansing oil into your skin, the second part is adding water and it emulsifies and gets lighter. And then you wet your washcloth and you remove it. And what happens is your skin is so soft. It's almost like a treatment cleanse. You're delivering the essential fatty acids. We're using special oils and we're going to talk about the oils in the Neroli cleansing oil. One, it's organic. Most cleansing oils are not organic. There's a lot of products in this jar versus an oil. Many companies will add inexpensive oils to their cleansing oil, thinking you just wipe it off anyway. And those cleansing oils are heavy. And that's when I was testing all the other products, all the other cleansing oils on the market, they felt heavy. And then I looked and I saw, oh, well, no wonder they're heavy. They have olive oil in them or vitamin E. Those are very inexpensive and they're heavier. Oh good, Kim just said she loves this cleanser. Yeah, it is a lovely cleanser. So when you apply it, you massage it in, you have this spun silk, you have this sensorial aroma, which is very spa-like of the soft neroli. And then what I love, and tell me if you don't agree, Kim, it's the texture. It's so lightweight, it literally feels like spun silk. And it's a spa experience. And it, I have people come up to me and tell me, strangers, and just say like, Angela, I really love to cleanse now. Like you've made cleansing enjoyable because of all the experiences, the aroma, the softness of it. It's like spun silk. And then the way your skin feels after. The most important thing is the way your skin feels after and the way it looks after using this for about a week or two. It balances your skin. So if you have some dry patches or you're really feeling, you know, aging, knocking on your door, as we age, we lose a lot of sebum production. Sebum is our own oils. We lose a lot of those. And what, what are ceramides? The hardened sebum. So we're losing all of that. Meadow foam seed oil, which is my hero ingredient, which is a part of my lipid lock technology. Lipid is the lipid barrier. Now when I say lipid lock technology, we are locking in with meadow foam seed oil and a proprietary blend of antioxidants. Beautiful molecular structures that are similar to our own sebum. So as we age, I said we lose that sebum production, it slows down. So your skin looks more dull, lackluster, and dry. When you use something like this or this, you're getting it back into your skin to where you have the glow, to where you don't need to go get all of the treatments that all your friends are getting or all the lasers or all the needles or all those things. You can actually just look more youthful having that sebum glow back into your skin, which is your own natural moisturizer. It is bioidentical to our own sebum. That goes away as we age, so now we're getting it back, and we don't look as dehydrated, we don't look as dry, we don't look as lackluster, we have more of a glow to the skin. So you can accomplish that with your cleanse. So when you do this cleanse, and you keep looking at your skin over the next week or two using this every night, you'll see the difference in your skin. It will be more balanced. It'll be more clear. I used to have breakout right here, hormonal breakout. I don't have that anymore. It helped clear that up for me. Also, it keeps me, my skin looking moist. You know, um, I am getting drier. When you get older, you get drier. <laughs> and I um, just turned 51. So this is giving me back what we lose as we age. And so many products on the market are actually doing the opposite. It, they're aging you. They're not skin care. They're drying and stripping your lipid barrier. They're, you're putting needles in your skin. You're disrupting your lipid barrier. You're using ingredients that are synthetics that are really disrupting your barrier. Let's say you're just obsessed with your retinol. Well, great. Let's say your retinol is making you dry and tight and it's just like making your skin like this. What you can do is balance that out using the Daily Botanical Serum, using the souffle moisturizer or this cleansing oil. It can help balance your skin. All right, someone just added this to your cart. You're going to love it. It's going to last forever. I house everything in black Moran glass just because yes, it looks cool, but more importantly, it helps protect from UV light. So these formulas stay stable longer. You should cover and protect your formulas. Now, I brought this in. Olive oils for cooking. Look at your oils. Like, if you have another cleansing oil, please look. Is, is there olive oil in it? I mean, no, don't go in your kitchen and don't pour this all over your face. This is for salads. It's almost gone because I eat a lot of salads. This is for salads and cooking sometimes, but mainly for salads. Keep it in your kitchen. 
when you're shopping for your skincare and you're looking at oils, please don't look for the oil or buy, just look at all the oils in, in it. I mean, there's so many different oils. Just, you wanna make sure that you're using a, a brand that the oils work with your skin. And then like their structure isn't too like large to penetrate, which this is quite large. So some uh, cleansing oils have olive oil. And you'd be surprised, the brands I was that use this. <laughs> Someone's laughing, yeah. All right guys, so um, yeah, we'll keep it for in the kitchen. Now I wanna go ahead and move on to something that I am absolutely obsessed with. This is my daily botanical serum. Now don't let the name serum fool you, it's a hybrid, it's mainly an oil, it's a lightweight oil. All right, someone also just added this to your cart. You're gonna love it, you must get it because it will change your skin. It'll make you want to cleanse and it will, the cleanse is so important, it sets everything up in your regimen, it truly does. And this is something you can use for, it lasts about, I don't know, close to four months. But it will literally change your skin and you will DM me and say how much you love it. Guarantee. I'm going to guarantee it. If you hate it, send it back within 30 days. You'll never send it back, I promise. Okay, so let's talk about the Daily Botanical Serum. Now, I had to give it a kiss because literally, oh, thank you. Someone else loves the haircut. Thank you. Skevo, Chris McMillan Salon. He was Chris McMillan's assistant for six years and uh, he went out on his own and he's amazing. He's only 27 and he just gets that, gets the cut. Thank you. All right, so this is the Daily Botanical Serum. This is a lightweight oil, I'm gonna show you, that works with your skin. It doesn't lay on top. Jojoba and meadow foam seed oil have the smallest molecular structure they have the highest amount of ceramides. Remember, meadow foam seed oil is my hero ingredient. It's a part of my lipid lock technology because it delivers back into your skin the gorgeous essential fatty acids that your skin needs to glow and to moisturize and to really kind of protect from everything out there. So I'm going, oh my God, I can smell it. Wave at me if you have this. This, when I launched this, 2020, it was named, it was a terrible year 2020, you guys remember what happened, it was a terrible year, but this was launched and named by W Magazine as one of the top 10 skincare launches of that year. It's that good. Do you know how many products launched in 2020? Like a lot. This was named top in the top 10 of all different products. It's that fabulous. All right, thank you. Someone just purchased this. You're going to love the cleanser. You're going to absolutely love it. Thank you for purchasing. Okay, so now the Daily Botanical Serum. All organic oils made with, I can smell it right now, the Lang Lang, the frankincense, which are therapeutic essential oils, which don't sensitize your skin. But the oils are sea buckthorn, extremely high in vitamin C, even more than an orange. You also have rosehip, which some refer to as Mother Nature's retinol, meaning it turns into retinoic acid on your skin, very high in vitamin A, also high in vitamin C. So what we're gonna do, of course we have the meadow foam seed oil and the lipid lock technology. So what it's gonna do is just go right into my skin. It's so thirsty and it's recognizing it because the molecular structure is almost identical to our own sebum. This is from nature, we are from nature. Our skin, this is from being an esthetician for almost 29 years, our skin works better with natural ingredients. We are from nature, our skin works better with natural ingredients. Not some dude in a white lab coat creating synthetic ingredients to mimic nature. Let's just use the natural ingredients. Oh, I'm sorry, they do cost more to, to actually make. I know that because now I'm a formulator and manufacturer with my own skincare line. It does cost more, but you're worth it. You get better results, truly. So natural, especially organic ingredients as well, cost more than these cheap synthetic wannabes that are in a lot of these products that claim it's science when everything is science. You think this just created itself? No, it took science to create this. Just because the actual like ingredients are natural doesn't mean there's no science involved in creating skincare. That's a given. I don't like, now I'm gonna get really real with you, spill the tea, I don't like, I don't wanna make soapbox, I don't like how they'll slap the, the, the title science backed or science created 
on a bunch of synthetic cheap ingredients and say, oh, this is science. Okay, um, but everything can be science. It's not just your synthetic ingredients that you created. It's also creating with ingredients from nature, which I happen from a professional perspective see better results. When I first started uh, becoming an esthetician, I was 23 years old. I was fortunate enough, I was in business school, I was fortunate enough to stumble upon a Yonka Paris training institute in Carmel, where I was living. Carmel by the sea. They called the land of the newlywed or nearly dead. Beautiful area, but there wasn't really anyone my age. So I did a lot of studying and a lot of working when I was there. Um, so basically I was taught by the French experts how valuable ingredients from nature are. And you know, our country's a little over 200 years old. The French have been creating beauty regimens. They invented the facial. They've been doing all of this for many years, which is why when I went to go visit in my 20s, that woman who was probably in her 50s came out to greet me at that, I wanna say Airbnb, but it wasn't an Airbnb. It was like a castle hotel, just slathered in oil. And she knew the benefits. My mom didn't know that at all. You know, uh, it's only now when people are learning about skincare, but now there's just so much misinformation out there about skincare, which is really frustrating that someone like me has to get on and share what I've learned because I've been studying it for 30 years, basically. All right, I would love to answer questions. Feel free to um, basically ask me any questions and go shopping. We have a code. It's CARE25 because we care. C-A-R-E, all caps, 25 you will receive 25% off. We never go that high. I don't know what the occasion is. Maybe it's because I got my hair cut. We're gonna basically give you 25% off today and it'll be for one hour after the show. You will receive 25% off on the face oils we're talking about, the cleansing oil and the Daily Botanical Serum. Now we're gonna go ahead and change this to the Daily Botanical Serum. I'm telling my moderator to change it and put that in because we're talking about the Daily Botanical Serum. You can click on it. <laughs> You can click on it and you can shop right here, which is so cool. So let's talk more about this Daily Botanical Serum. One, again, sensorial. It's the quality of the oil. All oils are not the same. There's one oil that's very popular. It was popular a few years ago. They really helped build the business of oils, which I am like, yay, thank you. But when I used it, people either love it or hate it. When I used it, unfortunately, I got red bumps immediately. And it's $185. It's a very expensive oil made with grapeseed. That helped build the business of oils for the American culture to be like, oh wow, oils work. But for me, there were too many essential oils in it. So when I went to formulate the Daily Botanical Serum, I wanted oils that worked beautifully with your skin, like sea buckthorn, meadow foam, and also rosehip to help with cell renewal. But I also wanted some essential oils so it would be like this luxurious, aromatic, spa-like experience to where you were like addicted to use it like I am, but I didn't want it to be too many essential oils to sensitize your skin. So these are there, frankincense goes back thousands of years. There has been uh, clinical studies to show that it helps with fine lines and wrinkles and cell renewal. And Lang Lang is also helps to calm inflammation. So these are beautiful, beautiful essential oils there for a therapeutic purpose that smell insanely good and heavenly. And then you have those really good oils behind it like the sea buckthorn, which is high in vitamin C. And then you have, of course, the rose hip and the meadow foam and the lipid lock technology. So what you do, this is what I do. I will cleanse first ah, with this beautiful cleanser at night. I will apply, massage it in. It's so lightweight, smell the neroli, all organic, massage it in. It's like this spa experience. Then I will add water to my fingertips, emulsify, massage again, another couple minutes. And then I will take a wet, a wet washcloth and wipe it off. And my skin will be so balanced and smooth and in such gorgeous shape. And then what I'll do is I'll grab my souffle moisturizer. And guess what? It has an oil in it as well. It has meadow foam seed oil and jojoba. Those are my two favorite oils on the planet. They have the smallest molecular structure. They have the most ceramides, over 90% ceramides. So many brands are going into the lab and creating synthetic versions of the natural ceramides and oils. Why don't we just use oils? Oh, it's too expensive for you? It's cheaper to do something in the, in the lab? No, I'll take the good stuff, please. Right here, organic, good stuff. 
So you have that in this moisturizer. It's really important this time of year to put aside your water-based moisturizers and you need a moisturizer with a little oil in it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and pin. This is the uh, Souffle Moisturizer. And what's unique about it, oh, it feels so good. I mean, there's so many things unique about this. This actually helped build my skincare line, this. The Souffle Moisturizer. I call it Souffle because it's so lightweight. It just melts into your skin. See how lightweight it is? A little goes a long way. You do not need a lot of any of my products. They have beautiful spreadability and it goes right into the skin. I'll use the Souffle Moisturizer as my eye cream. Why? You're like, oh, you need a separate eye cream. No, you don't. The only reason you would need a separate eye cream, and this is what they say, they say, oh, the skin is thinner, you need a separate product. You'll get milia. Well, if you have a product like mine, without dimethicone and silicones, which cause that, and it has the lipid lock technology where it just goes right into your skin, like, it helps to plump up the fine lines and wrinkles. Bam, just like that. Keeps it hydrated, seals everything in, plumps up the fine lines and wrinkles. So why spend another $100, some are even $280 for an eye cream? Yeah, I said that. Blows my mind. Um, that's a lot of money and anyway, I, I, I can't even wrap my head around charging. I don't think I could sleep at night, honestly, if I were doing that, charging me $280 for like 10 ml of that eye cream um, because it shouldn't cost that much. Ingredients are not that much. Marketing is, the packaging is, paying for that celebrity to boast about it is, that's real expensive. So I get it, it's a business, but I'm talking about it. I didn't hire anyone. I'm the founder, owner, creator, formulator, esthetician. So I would rather you save money and I work harder basically because I love what I do. So this is the Souffle Moisturizer. It's $70. I could have charged $125, which was the original price. I actually went in store. Someone just added to their cart. Thank you. This is a Souffle. You're going to love it. I went in store. I was sold at Space and K before they went out during the pandemic. But I went into the Prince Street Space and K and I was looking at my, here, looking at my shelf like this in Space and K. And I realized I'm next to Tata Harper. I'm next to Sunday Riley. No one knows who I am. I'm just an esthetician in Beverly Hills who started our line finally after so many years being an esthetician, working on so many amazing people who inspired me to do it. But I thought, why, why would they grab it? They don't know me. And I'm like, listen, I'm not gonna charge 125 just because everybody else is. I wanted to charge, and, and Estee Lauder is my biggest, like, I mean, I'm so obsessed. I've read all of her books, she, the biography, she's incredible. And what she did, which I really appreciate, is that she had the dramatically different, the, the yellow, remember that, the yellow uh, Clinique moisturizer? She didn't charge a lot for it. <laughs> oh, there she is. Um, oh, ego, that's a good point. Thank you so much for thinking of consumers and not having your ego get involved. That's a really good point. Thank you, I don't have an ego. <laughs> All right, so um, anyway, she charged uh, at the time not very much for that, but her mindset was like, listen, if they love it, and they buy it again and again, and they're loyal for years and years, I have a lifetime customer. And I thought the same thing. So I went in and I changed the price. I brought it down to 70 sitting on the shelf. And I remember the manager at Space and K, they were like, yeah, we saw you lowered it, but you could have went to 90. Why'd you go to 70? Because I wanna sell more of them and I want you to buy them again and again. Because I have sold skincare for many years, remember? Like 28 years. I have sold the $300 serums. In fact, I was a top seller at, uh, I used to work at Ula Henriksen Spa prior to opening my own spa about eight years ago here in Los Angeles. And um, my manager would come up, Ula had sold the spa, it was someone else, and he was the owner and manager. He would say, hey, are you gonna sell those $300 serums? How many are you gonna sell today? You know, just think of the dollars. And I was just, I get it, you know, whatever. But I was just like, yeah, it was a good serum. So I'm like, I can sell it. So I sold it to my clients and they would come back and they bought it a second time. They never bought a third time, ever. And these were very wealthy women of Los Angeles, Beverly Hills. And there's a reason they didn't buy it a third time. It was because it didn't wow them enough for that price point. And I literally know that if I had a ton of marketing and if I did actually sell this for more, and I used all that money for marketing and built this brand up bigger and hired celebrities, 
I'd be just fine. But I personally want everyone to be able to buy it and not just the super wealthy, you know? I guess that's it. I just want everyone to be able to feel good about buying it. And that's the thing. The super wealthy are also very careful with their money. They're not gonna waste their money. They're wealthy for a reason. So not only someone who isn't super rich can buy it, it's still expensive, $70 isn't cheap, but they can buy it. And then someone who's really rich can buy two or three and give them to their girlfriends. But I'm telling you, I work on so many wealthy, incredible women that get, some, most are celebrities and they're gifted all these expensive, hot brands and they use them and then they try my souffle moisturizer and they will look me in the eye and it'll freak me out because they're serious and I didn't know. But they're like, Angela, uh, I like your souffle moisturizer better or Angela, this daily botanical serum is better than my face oil, which is super expensive. So just know when you buy my skincare, you're getting the quality with the entree prestige price because I don't want to charge a ton of money for my skincare. I want everyone to be able to use it. And of course, it's not housed in plastic. It's in this gorgeous black Meron glass with real gold. And you can upcycle these and you can put like your earrings in, plant a candle. I have someone who planted cute little succulents in these. There's all sorts of ways with these beautiful jars. Um, this is a cute little bud vase. You can do the same with this. I mean, there's so many things you can do with the gorgeous um, glass after you use it. So we have talked about a few things and I want you to ask me questions now. I'll go ahead and talk some more about the skincare, but this is the only time, I don't recall a time where you can get 25% off. So if you want to try my skincare and see what I'm talking about, go to my website, read the reviews on the skincare. Thank you for your reviews too, I appreciate that you can see how much people love the skincare. This was named by Dub, uh, not W, uh, by Vogue magazine as one of the top 10 lightweight moisturizers. Oh good, Tony just said, cycling my beauty packaging. Yes, and speaking of packaging, all of my boxes have always been FSC certified since I launched, not just because it's cool. Uh, when I launched four and a half years ago, I made sure uh, that means that these are actually, the paper is partially recycled paper and there is sustainable forest practices. I've also been certified Leaping Bunny since I launched. Uh, there's some that just put a bunny up with floppy ears. That doesn't mean a darn thing. Certified Leaping Bunny is an organization that will actually reach out to your lab and research where every ingredient is from and make sure. Okay, I didn't know the promo of 25%. How long will this go on? You'll get the Care 25 for an hour after this live. So let's, I mean, you just have a little bit of time basically. So for an hour after I finish, we'll have that available. So Care 25, you'll get 25% uh, off, which is a lot, all of my skincare and also the cryo tools. So the cryo and the oils, because we're talking about oils today, and I couldn't leave the souffle moisturizer out. So he is included as well, because he does have my Lipid Lock and Meadow Foam and Jojoba. So if you want gorgeous glowing skin, do not be afraid of oils. Be afraid of dimethicone. No, don't be afraid, don't be afraid of anything. But dimethicone is the man-made silicone they'll use in place of oils because it's cheaper and it feels the texture just like an oil, but it's like plastic and it goes down your drain and it doesn't dissolve in the oceans and it's bad. It's not only bad for your skin, but it's also bad for the environment. All right, okay, to use on, ac yes, acneic skin. This is almost called a purifying oil. So yes, these oils work if you do have breakout. Daily Botanical Serum. I don't have any breakout and I use it for other purposes, but it's not going to break you out. Oil works with oil. If you are, have acneic skin and you're using things that are just like benzoyl peroxide, the retinols, the sulfur, everything just purging it, and your skin is dry and sensitized, what happens is your skin is quite smart. Our bodies are incredible. It will start to overproduce oil and what you're sensitized and then you have more oil. So you want to use products that work with your skin. Don't freak it out to where it dries it out and it starts to overproduce and overcompensate and, and do more oil. That's not what you want. Okay, yes, so code will work for an hour after this live. So C-A-R-E, care, because I care about you, 25 is your code, all caps for care. 
Thank you guys for joining. This is so fun. Yeah, we're just talking about great oils and what they do for your skin. And this is the time of year. We talked about this gorgeous, this is my newest launch, my newest baby. Isn't the packaging cool? It's ergonomically designed, so it's very easy to hold. It's not going to slip. And there's a pump. All right, um, Tony just said a big debate about applying oil before or after moisturizer. My belief is that it will depend on the oil you're using when you apply. What are your thoughts? All right, here's a big scoop on that. Good, good thing to bring up. Basically, if you have a water-based moisturizer, you apply that first. If you have a water-based serum, apply that first. But we're talking about a moisturizer. So if you have a water-based moisturizer, you better apply that first. Don't apply the oil and then apply the water-based moisturizer after. It's, it's just wasting product. You want an oil-based moisturizer, which there is oil in the souffle, and there is oil in the Daily Botanical Serum. These are, this is an oil, and this has oil in it with a meadow foam. So you, it doesn't matter. Because if there's oil in the moisturizer, it doesn't matter which is first. Okay, they work together. It's still always lightest to thickest. So this moisturizer, as you can see, is extremely lightweight. It just goes right into the skin. So what I do is I apply, and then I'll apply the oil on top to seal everything in. That's how I do it. I apply the souffle first, and then I apply the daily botanical after. These three products are all you need. These three products are all that I use. I just told you I just turned 51. It doesn't even bother me. And I don't do anything invasive. I'm not that person because I don't believe in all of that. I believe in working with your skin, not against it. And I believe we can age using ingredients from nature and being consistent with our regimen. Like washing your skin every night before you go to bed. Don't go to bed with your makeup on. Don't do that. Remove with this beautiful oil. Apply the souffle. Seal it in with the Daily Botanical Serum. That's all I do. I may grab my cryo, especially in the morning. Grab them out of the freezer. There's a liquid inside. These are 25% off too. So the Angela Kalia Skin Care and the cryo, which is super popular. These have been loved by every beauty editor that gets their hands on them. Always win the award of the best cryo on the market. They're ergonomically designed to work with the contours of your face, not just some big weird roller. This works with the contours of your face. Sometimes I apply the oil lightly midday for an added boost of radiance. Yes, Kathy. So important. Thank you for bringing that up. Don't think that you just need to do your skincare regimen when you wake up and when you go to bed. That's a lot of hours. You need a little boost for radiance, just like she mentioned, midday. So what Kathy and I both love to do we will grab a few drops of the Daily Botanical Serum. And I have Ilia on, a skin tint Ilia, which is a natural, beautiful sunscreen tint. It's okay if I just add a little bit on top, midday, especially before a Zoom call or even just midday because your skin can get dry. Oh, someone just added the souffle to their cart. You're going to love this. And it's always just packed to the rim. A little goes a long way. Apply it to your neck, you can even apply to your lips, and as an eye cream for $70, you're going to love it. So I'll also either apply a little souffle midday, or this. I love to use, like Kathy, the Daily Botanical Serum because it has this gorgeous aroma that adds a little aromatherapy, which oh, helps me relax midday, you know? Stressful day, things are going on. And then you just go like this, you apply midday, I'll do it just right here. And you know how like midday, like you, you look in the mirror, you see yourself smiling. Oh good, Nina wants to buy the cleanser. You're gonna love the cleanser, Nina. Nina Ben Cohen, you're gonna love the cleanser. It's absolutely beautiful. This is the Neroli cleansing oil, you will love it. Use the code, we have a code today, CARE25. Okay, so midday, you have this like, Ooh, moment because you have the aromatherapy of the Lang Lang and frankincense. So don't just use my products morning and night. Get some midday action in. Midday, sometimes I get a little sleepy like midday, like I'll just be go, 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 and then I'll be tired and I'll grab the cryo and I'll grab it out of the freezer and I'll apply the daily botanical. Oh, thank you, Tony. And I will just give myself a little spa treatment midday. 
just grab them out of the freezer. So this is my gold cryo set, absolutely beautiful. The best cryo set on the market, if I do say so myself, I'm telling you. Yes, CARE25, thank you, yeah. Help, you guys are helping each other, I love it. Yes, all caps, CARE, and then 25. 25% off, free shipping in the US, the gorgeous skincare collection, and the cryo set. Valid for an hour after this live. While supplies last. We're getting low on the Daily Botanical Serum, so don't be shy, get your stuff. And you don't need a lot. Like in the Daily Botanical Serum, you've got your vitamin C with the sea buckthorn. It has more vitamin C than an orange, the amount of sea buckthorn in here. And then you also have the rosehip, which is your vitamin A, vitamin A turns into retinoic acid. So you're getting the, the protection of the oil, you're getting the antioxidants that your skin needs to look younger. And then in the souffle, you're getting the vitamin C, which is known to target fine lines and wrinkles. You also have the goat milk, which helps to calm redness and balance the skin. Goat milk is fabulous for the skin. Like I really wanna give myself a goat milk bath. That just sounds awesome, a goat milk bath. I'll work on that, I'll let you know. Maybe I'll do a live with a goat milk. Well, I can't do a live, <laughs> but I'll tell you about my goat milk bath. So goat milk is so yummy for the skin. And that's in here. We also have aloe, which is very soothing. And then of course the vitamin C and the lipid lock technology. So it's so lightweight. You know, I hate to spoil it, but if you buy this, which you should at 25% off, if you buy this and you use it, you're not gonna wanna use another moisturizer again. You're not gonna use another oil again. And you're not gonna use another cleanser again. Why? Because the experience is so lovely and also the results. It's about the immediate results and the long-term results. Speaking of which, my skincare, I don't just test on my celebrity clients and my clients and I use and say, oh, this is great. I actually do outside clinical testing. And I'm gonna tell you in a consumer perception study of the souffle moisturizer, right here, the souffle moisturizer, 100% of 37 women aged 32 to 65, 100% said their skin was instantly hydrated and moisturized from using this. All right, thank you. Someone just added this to your cart. You're going to love it. After using it for two weeks, 97% agreed their skin felt nourished with moisture after using it for two weeks. 97% said their skin felt softer, like really felt softer. 84%, which is a lot, said they saw a reduction of fine lines and wrinkles after two weeks. Yay. That was a little... I mean, come on. A reduction in fine lines and wrinkles in two weeks? Nine, oh, 84%? That's a, that's a high percentage of 37 women who saw a reduction in fine lines and wrinkles in less than two weeks using this. 100% immediately saw hydration and moisturization upon using it. So for $70, this will last about four months, you're getting all of these crazy benefits and you're going to enjoy using it. And it's clean beauty. It's not filled with silicones. There's no perfume. There's no essential oil. There's no scent at all in the souffle moisturizer. Why is that? Because I want you to top it off with the Daily Botanical Serum, which is the lightweight oil, which has Lang Lang and frankincense. I don't want too many essential oils because we layer our skincare. So the souffle moisturizer is the clean palette without having any essential oil. Not that essential oils are bad. I just don't want too many. There was this one product line when they first launched. Take a sip of water here. It's a couple of them actually. A few uh, clean beauty skincare lines. They launched, they had so many essential oils in every product. Like the moisturizer had it. It was like this potpourri, the same group of essential oils. And they all had it. And I'm like, dude, we're not selling perfume here. People don't buy things because they smell good. We need skin care. And when you're putting all these layers of tons of essential oils, that's not good for your skin either. That's too much. I'm just trying to put care back in skincare. I'm just trying to help you to keep a simplified routine to have a strong, lipid barrier, skin barrier, whatever you want to call it, moisture barrier, and to keep things simple and to make you feel more empowered and more confident. Empowered and confident. Because when you are empowered and confident and you kind of love your regimen and you like going in and doing it, it doesn't take too long, it's pretty fun, and you see the results, you're happier. And when you're happier, See a smile, what that does? It's like a facelift, it just pulls it back. 
you just look younger anyway. So you might as well be happy. Have you seen like a beautiful woman who just wasn't happy? She wasn't that beautiful. I want you all to feel beautiful inside and you'll look beautiful outside, both ways. All right, everyone, thank you for joining. Feel free to shop, peruseangelacalia.com. I have, I, I can't recall having 25% off. So take advantage, you have an hour from now to use Angela, or not Angela, Maybe I do a video, I just thought my name was in the code. It's not, it's CARE, C-A-R-E 25. You'll get 25% off the gorgeous skincare products and also as a throw in added bonus, this beautiful cryo set. There's a liquid inside that freezes. So when it comes with a case, you put it in the freezer about a half an hour, maybe a day before you wanna use it. And that's how you have the freezing temperatures, which are incredible for your skin, giving yourself that cryo experience. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Use the code CARE25, it's right here listed, and go shopping. Free shipping in the US as well. And feel free to DM and let me know. Someone said, I'm trying to buy the oil, but keep getting this CARE25 discount code isn't valid. Okay, well, it's only valid, the CARE25, for the Angela Collier skincare and also the cryo. So that's what the special is. So the Care 25 is only going to be for these Angela Collier skincare products and the cryo. All right guys, thank you so much for joining and I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. I will be back next Tuesday, same time, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 Eastern Time. Thank you. Anybody who's having a hard time, they can buy direct on our website. Okay, not, someone not said, oh, sorry. So um, someone just said, my producer husband just came in and said, if you're having a hard time with the code, don't buy through Facebook or Instagram. Just go direct to our website. Just go ahead and go directly to us. Oh, she got it now. Okay, thank you, Judy. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful evening.